Ironically, Detroit has closed 127 schools in the last decade. This has basically destroyed hundreds of black communities and institutions that were built to service their needs. When you cripple the infrastructure, you ultimately handicap people from making money in that city. There is plenty of evidence to suggest that school closings affect black people at a disproportionate rate, similar to that of the inmate population across the country. In essence, the school-to-prison pipeline works whether the black community has a few functional schools or not because it's all a numbers game. Large masses of black people are going to come up with the short end of the stick. What do you think happens to them? Most will end up living at or below the poverty line or even worse, stuck in the never-ending rat race of barely getting by despite their gainful employment. The numbers are just as glaring in Philadelphia, where 81% are black. In both cities, more than 93% of the affected students come from poor families. The numbers have played out much the same way in other cities, such as St. Louis, Kansas City, Miami, Birmingham, Alabama, New York, Newark, New Jersey, Oakland, Houston, New Orleans, and Washington, D.C. I want people to see that this pattern is not coincidental or accidental, and it never is when it comes to the systemic displacement of black people.